So this one's going to be another talky talk vlog. Um, so let's get the background nice. It's been a tough few weeks. Um, had a few setbacks, had a few rubbish outings, had a few rubbish races. Um, so let's start at the beginning. Um, it's, so it's been a bit of a bad period of late. Um, we had seat racing, which I didn't do very well in. Uh, lost my seat race um, quite significantly, I think. Um, and that just set me off. It gave me a bit of a confidence knock. Um, um, so yeah, we've had a few setbacks of late. Outings haven't been, haven't always been great. Um, and it's just cold and dark all the time and the weather's miserable it's deep in winter so things aren't uh, the best and so I just wanted to think back and take a look at in this video take a look at where I've come from <laughs> where I started and where I am now um, so we can get a bit more of a perspective on things. So although things feel a bit rough at the moment in the rowing, um, you got to remember where you came from um, and it's all part of the process. I made a video right at the start of doing these called um, Sometimes Progress Isn't Linear and I think I've just got to remember that fact at the moment. So let's go back to the start. I started rowing at uni in my first year of uni and I initially went to rowing to get big arms and a six pack. Little did I know, little did I know. Um, so um, yeah, I started rowing with the, the intention of getting big arms um, because it's an arm sport, isn't it? When you're just looking at it from the outside world. Um, but. Thankfully, the cycling I had done paid off in the novice trials and I had a bit of fitness there, so I was able to get into the squad. Um, I was one of the worst, worst ergs to start with. Um, everyone else was like a bit of a gym lad and been to the gym, got a bit of strength behind them, and they were a bit, a bit fitter than me. So, in my first year, I was learning to row, uh, I was in and out of the top boat. Uh, the top novice boat, <laughs> top. Um, we had a really good crew, there was a really good vibe, I really enjoyed it. Um, so shout out to Jamie and Tredge, my two novice captains, who got me into it. Um, and end of the year we did Bucks Regatta and we won the B final, uh, which was really great fun and a great experience. But after that, um, it was just, it'd been a year of being in and out of rowing. Uh, well, in and out of uh, the top boat. I wasn't the best, I, kn I knew that.
And so uh, summer racing came round and like, the senior men were looking towards the novices to see if there was anyone who could bolster their Henley squad. Um, and I wasn't considered. I was, I think my PB at the time was 641, um, which wasn't, isn't, isn't that bad looking back at it. Um, but it's also not the best. It's not what you want in a, like, in a, crew that wants to compete in one of the most competitive events, the, the Temple? Temple? Yeah, the Temple. Um, so yeah, I, I just wasn't considered. I also wasn't very good. Um, so I was good for a novice, but that's not particularly great outside. So I went home for summer, joined a cycling club, did a ton of cycling, found out I was quite good at hill climbing because I wasn't heavy at that point never really lifted weights so I still didn't have a lot of muscle but I was quite fit um, from a year of rowing and so I sort of started getting into cycling and I could found that I could race up a hill and beat quite a lot of people up a hill <laughs> which was a uh, good fun um, and then just in September it was like the last ride I was going to do with my cycling club I had a huge crash on the way back about a kilometer from home and I thought I'd dislocated my shoulder um, because I came off the bike. I couldn't move it. Maybe I did. I don't know. But by the time I'd got to the hospital, it popped back in. But I'd torn like, everything and it was just, I couldn't move my arm really um, for a while. So I didn't rejoin Ray. This is the point that I almost quit. Um, so the first like half of my second year, I didn't really row. I got I was able to get back to cycling fairly quickly because I found uh, thankfully I hadn't broken any bones so I was just able to after a few weeks get back on the bike and go again and I was really enjoying cycling. I was up in Sheffield so cycling around the Peak District. I was seeing new places, I was seeing all the hills and it was just amazing and I can strongly recommend Sheffield as a cycling location. Um, yeah, it's just a cracking place to go and cycle. Yeah, so did a bit of cycling. I joined the triathlon club because I was also quite enjoying running at the time. Um, and yeah, did a bit of running. Uh, went sub 20 on a 5k run, a hilly one, a park run, 1951. Um, so that was good. I was having fun there. But I just found, even with triathlon, there was just a bit of a, a void in my life, so I decided that I didn't want to go back into an air room and like running was rubbish and I didn't enjoy it, but I just had a gap to fill. And so slowly I found myself rejoining the rowing club. And before I knew it, I'd got into this like volunteering job and I was like social rowing captain and I was leading an erg session for people, like uh, just people looking to get into rowing, just indoors or just for fitness or just see what it was all about. And that was a weekly thing, so I found myself doing that. That was really good fun. And I ended up doing most of the ergs with them. So I was starting to get fairly fit. I returned to rowing um, after, like, it was, I think it was after the head in. In 2018, 2019 then. Um, but yeah, never really got into it. Spent a bit of time in a pair. And then I became novice men's captain for my third year of uni. And absolutely loved that. There's a few videos. If you look at my older videos, there's some videos of me with the novice men and me in a pair with Tom, uh, the other novice men's captain. And that's all the rowing I really did that year was just in a pair. And then coronavirus happened. So I joined Vesta and I've done a year review of being an investor, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much, but uh, I got coached by Dave, Dave Loveday, and he's been brilliant, really supportive. I came in not really knowing much about rowing. I still don't know much about rowing, but I'm a lot better than I was. So, and that doesn't mean I'm good. I'm not saying that, but I'm a lot better than I was. And also my ERG scores have dropped massively since joining Vesta. Um, so yeah, that's a bit of what, what I've done, where I've come from, where I am now. Um, 
hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did enjoy the video, leave a comment below. Let me know a bit about your story. Um, I want to know, I'd like to know a bit more about who's watching, where did you row, um, what keeps you in the sport, why do you love it. Um, let me know down below. Thanks for watching.